Okay, Year 7, welcome to our very first lesson of understanding fractions, decimals and percentages. We are starting a new topic, no more negative numbers, okay? So you would have done a pretest yesterday and there'll be a few things that you would have thought, ooh, I don't, I'm not too sure how to do that. And a few things I hope some of you have gone, oh, I remember how to do this from primary school. Today we're going to start our first lesson, which is factors and multiples. And the first thing we need to know is, well, what is a factor? And what is a multiple? Okay, let's begin. So a factor of a particular number are other numbers that divide evenly into it. So if I look at 6, the number 6, what numbers go into 6? Not 6 goes into, but go into 6. Well, 1 goes into 6 6 times. 2 goes into 6 3 times, 3 goes into 6 2 times. Now, 4 goes into 6, but not evenly. It can't divide evenly, so it can't be a factor. 5, yeah, 5 goes into 6, but there's a remainder, so it's not a factor. And last but not least, 6 goes into itself once. They are the factors of 6. Multiples, on the other hand, are numbers that are created by multiplying the particular number. So that's, let's look at 6 again. The multiples of 6 this time are 6. 6 goes into itself once. 6 times 2 is 12. 6 times 3 is 18. 6 fours are 24. These are all multiples of 6. So you'll see the difference. Factors are numbers that go into it. Multiples are numbers that when multiplying the number are the result. So 6 times 2, 6 times 3, 6 times 4 are all examples. 24, 18, 12 are all multiples of 6. Okay, so this time we're going to have a look at factors. These are our examples like we did with 6. I'm going to have a look at the factors of these numbers. Okay, the factors of 15. Now the easiest ones are to forget. The easiest ones to forget okay are uh, one and the number itself so one is always a factor of every number okay because every number can be one goes into every number the a certain amount of times so does two go into 15 evenly mm, two four six eight ten twelve fourteen oh no there'd be a remainder so that's not one uh three yep three fives are 15 that goes in evenly uh four Four ones are four, four twos are eight, four threes are twelve, four fours are sixteen. No, not evenly. Uh, five, yep, five goes in. Six, no. Seven, no. Eight, no. Eight, no. Nine, no. Ten, no. Eleven, twelve. Okay, the last one is going to be fifteen. One, three, five, fifteen. No other numbers going to fifteen as a whole. Okay, let's look at forty. I've got 1, obviously, that's where I start. Yep, 2. No on 3. Yep, 4. Yep, 5. No on 6. No on 7. 8, yep. 9, no. 10. Now, once I get over 10, 10 times 4 is 40. 3 doesn't go into it evenly, so then I go to 10 times 2. Sorry, uh, what times 2 is 40? That's 20. And then the number itself. They are the factors of 40. 1, 2, 4, 5, 8, 10, 20, and 40. These are the factors of 15. Remember, factors are numbers that go into the original. Okay, let's write down some multiples. So the multiples of 11. Let's do multiples of 11. First 6, 11 is 22. Ooh, ah. Mr. Corsi just made the biggest mistake. What mistake? Did, oh, sorry. What mistake did she make? What did she forget to write down first? The multiple, the number itself. Eleven is the first multiple. Twenty-two, thirty-three, forty-four, fifty-five. Okay, and sixty-six. They are the first six multiples of eleven. Always remember to start with that number. 35 is the first multiple of 35. Now, this might be a bit hard because it's a bigger number, but I can do it. 35 plus 35. Well, 30 plus 30 is 60. 5 plus 5 is 10. 60 plus 10 is 70. 
Okay, 70 plus 35. Well, 70 plus 30 is 100, plus another 5 is 105. Okay, 105 plus 35. Well, 100 plus 30 is 130. 5 plus 5 is 10, so that's 140. Okay, 140 plus 35. Well, that's 175, because I just go 30 and 40 is 70. Okay, and then 175 plus 35, well, 170 plus 30 is 200, 5 plus 5 is 10, so 210. I hope you heard what I was doing there, guys. I didn't grab straight from my calculator when I saw it was a big number. I did some partitioning in my head. I did some partitioning where I took certain parts of the numbers, added them together, and then added the rest. That's a really good strategy to use. But again, these multiples are numbers that this one gets multiplied by. So the original gets multiplied by multiples. Okay, and that's it guys. That's the basics of factors and multiples.